Welcome to another edition of Modern Dallas TV. I'm Jeff Levine with ModernDallas.net. This week, we stop by a spectacular contemporary of Straight Lane in North Dallas, visit Mary Tomas Gallery and see their show with international artist Masri. And lastly, we visit Gallery Noir and see the acrylic collection of Alexandra van Furstenberg. Stick around for the calendar, the art scene, and enjoy this edition of Modern Dallas TV. Modern Dallas Real Estate this week is here at 4920 Mangold Circle, just off Straight Lane in a secluded cul-de-sac. I'm here with Vicki Foster with Briggs Dream and Sotheby's International Realty. Vicki, you know, I walk in this house and for me, I go into homes that are staged or furnished. This is a beautiful blank canvas. And all the features from the museum boards and the staircase when you walk in and the details, Fantastic. So tell me, what am I missing? <laughs> well, you know what, there's so much to this property, Jeff, and it's very poignant that you would say, you know, I walked into this blank canvas and you saw it as the work of art that it is. We considered staging this particular project and once we completed it, we found that furnishings just did not match the integrity of the dwelling. So we left it as this piece of modern art that you're now seeing. You touched on the uh, museum style quality walls, the baseboards. This is a pier and beam construction by Robert Raymond Group and it is two by six, foam insulation, high energy efficiency throughout, pre-wired for everything you can imagine. On seven tenths of an acre, this particular property was also designed to be utilized in every single way. Every room in this house was designed to have maximum use. The dining room is central and it's also adjacent to the kitchen in this property. You get the feeling that you can formally entertain or have your children run around on skateboards if they want to. It is that much uh, of a statement piece. And that's my kind of home. That's how I grew up. <laughs> Not skateboarding but playing sports in the house. Not that that's good or bad but what it is is it just gives you a sense of like flexibility, freedom. It's not, it's not stayed, it's not a certain way. And I think it gives people the opportunity, like any piece of art, you can use whatever you want in the home and create anything in your own mind that you dream of. You know, furniture, art lighting, or accessories, artwork, beautiful. So that said, tell us a little about some of the benefits or features of the home. Well, as we spoke of earlier, this is LEED certified. You have hall, high energy efficiency throughout the particular, uh, throughout the entire property. And you will see that the kitchen in of itself is completely outfitted for the gourmet. All wolf uh, appliances. One of the things that you will notice when you walk into the kitchen is that most of the cabinetry and all of the utilities are cabinet level countertop level or lower. And that was so that you can see all the way through the particular property. And um, one of the things that is unique to this home is that it sits about three to four feet off the ground on pier and beam foundation. You can get under the house to rearrange anything. It's easy to work with. You know what, the stonework in this property in and of itself is remarkable. You can see it from the entry, it's mimicked in right here in, in the dining area, then you see it in the study and then you also see it in the outside of the property. So one of those things that is also um, a nice accompaniment, the stone, is the standing seam metal roof. You've got the gray tones, you've got the lifelong integrity of the roof itself. You'll see that also carried through in the I-beams outside. And they're not only beautiful, but they're also structural. Right, and great windows, the wherever wind you look. Wherever beautiful. you look, and this house is bathed in light. We're here on a rather dreary day, and you can see you know, just how light and beautiful um, every little surface appears. And the windows were custom made by the builder for this particular project, and it really does show. Every room in the house has uh, maximum places for art and the lights reflected so that whatever kind of treasures 
uh, the particular family that gets to own this has will be really showcased. Well, it's a great home. You can see it at BriggsFreeman.com. It's listed at 3.675. 3.675, built by the Robert Raymond Group. And I will tell you, this particular builder is like no other I have ever worked with. Thanks a lot. You can also see the listing on our website at moderndallas.net. Thanks. Experience LED at Lights Fantastic Pro, our sponsor on Modern Dallas TV. Lighting is changing at warp speed and there's definitely an LED revolution going on. You'll see a curated selection of some of the coolest new LED fixtures from some of the best brands around the world. Visit their 12,000 square foot showroom minutes from the new Nebraska Furniture Mart in Louisville off the Sam Raven Tollway. Come see for yourself how lighting can enhance and change your next project. Modern Dallas Art this week stops by Mary Tomas Gallery to see international artist Masri. I'm here with Alberto Tomas. Alberto, tell us a little bit about Masri and his work. Well, Jeff, welcome to Mary Tomas Gallery. Masri is an inter interesting artist we met a year ago. Uh, he's what you call an abstract expressionist. He's Lebanese Italian. He's been influenced by many international circumstances. He was and grew up during the Lebanese War, which affected his style of painting. And then he moved to Florence, Italy, where he developed a beautiful, more colorful palette living in that particular country. He's married to a Norwegian woman. He has a beautiful family, a couple of kids and he's been in Florence 26 years. So obviously living in Florence has to give him some sort of direction of what his work looks like. It's interesting because uh, Florence is very classical and as you can see, his art is very contemporary and expressive. So he's working on it and... Uh, so what kind of style is this? Because they're very, you know, they, they're beautiful strokes well, it's abstract expressionist, expressionist, and he, when he paints, he becomes another person, very intuitive. He, so he puts all this energy, which is what we love about artists, their conceptual, their energy, their work coming out of their soul, and then he just attacks the canvas and expresses strongly what he's feeling to the point then he needs to understand when to stop, and that's not easy. He knows when to stop and how not to get his paint all muddied up. Secure strokes. Yeah, it's beautiful work. I mean, you look at the work on the walls, you know, the colorful, it just flows beautifully. It really excites us. But then he's got a great portrait series. He does. So there is where he goes ahead and uh, showcases several styles that he uses. Uh, in his portraiture. Impressionism, a sort of a cubism, a, a dark, and a happy based on all the experience that he has. Now what you have here is his own portraits. He will they work. are self-portraits. Right. He would do work for people who would like their portrait made. Right. And then moving on, there's some great pieces of Dallas. Great city views. Well, the great city of Florence, Italy. A lot of the great Dallas site public or people or patrons, they go and visit Florence, where sometimes in opportune light they meet him because he has a storefront in Florence where he paints and you can see him from the street. But also he has generated, because of that he has developed many relationships with Dallas site to the point that they invite him every year to come and watch the Super Bowl in some of his friends' homes. And that's how you connected with him. And that's how we connected, right. because he was looking for a contemporary look, a gallery to represent So, so these work. actual works from Dallas, he's created when he's been here? Correct. At the times that he's been here, he spent some time, and then in honor of Dallas, he goes ahead and uses several styles like Cubism and again Impressionism and some whimsical styles. It's a wonderful collection. You can see it here at Mary Thomas Gallery. Thanks for having us today. Thank you for being here, Jeff. Appreciate it.
Modern Dallas visits Gallery Noir in the Dallas Design District to view the latest addition to their collection from Alexander von Furstenberg Acrylic Furniture and Accessories. Alexander von Furstenberg is a contemporary furniture designer based in Los Angeles, California, focused on designing exclusively for the home, a synthesis of art, home furnishings and fashion. The collection consists of signed limited edition pieces made out of acrylic and not to the 70s when acrylic was widely regarded as the material of the future. Beginning with a sleek eight-piece collection ranging from side tables to an oversized dining table, the designs were named in honor of their inspiration, diamonds, brilliant or trillion. The gem-like collection is illuminated with neon colors. One of our favorites, the brilliant acrylic console table which is clean and sophisticated lines and can accent any room in your home or office with just the right amount of color. It's the most popular piece from the collection. The simplicity of this acrylic table's simple design is modern and chic, yet it blends in with just about any type of setting. In addition, AVF has a variety of unique acrylic accessories from trays, bowls, frames, vases, and candy bowls available in 12 different flavors or colors. You can view the collection of furniture and accessories at Gallery Noir at 1525 Dragon Street or on their website at gallerynoir.com. To wrap up this edition of Modern Dallas TV on the art scene on March the 19th, WADA, Fort Worth Art Dealers Association, has their gallery evening from noon to 9 p.m. Check out all the details on moderndallas.net on our arts page. On the calendar, spring is upon us. The Dallas Center for Architecture has great walking tours around downtown Dallas, Fair Park, and some other areas around the downtown area. Check out our website on the calendar for details. And if you want a little more, listen to The Modernist, our podcast on iTunes. Type in The Modernist and you'll see our latest show with the art critic writer Todd Camplin. And if you need a little more, we have great articles, Scandinavian design, award-winning chairs, art reviews, and more. Open houses every Sunday. We have the list on our website at uh, moderndallas.net on our real estate page. And if you're in the market for a modern, mid-century modern, contemporary home, high-rise or loft, we simply have the finest moderns in Dallas. For this week, like every week, we appreciate you being part of our show, and we'll see you later.